Now that Ugly Sonic has been banished to another franchise. Anyway, now my luck has shifted. A surprisingly not terrible video game movie gets a surprisingly not terrible sequel, which by Sonic standards makes it the god dang Mona Lisa. These fans have just been through so, so much. Sonic 2. After Sonic 1 hooked audiences with a nice family film, Sonic 2 pops the blue pill and shows them just how weird this franchise gets, where a zoo's worth of animals team up to fight an egg-shaped mech powered by a gem that makes your dreams come true. But it never strays from one relatable, easy-to-follow message. Everyone is painfully, crushingly alone. Chantrell to D4. Mm -hmm. Growing up, I didn't have any friends. I lost everything because of you. We both lost everything that day. Buddies, wingmen, a squad. Well, Sonic doesn't have anything like that. Doctor, where are you? Fun! Welcome back all your faves from Sonic 1. Like Tom, a guy trying to decide if the thing he keeps in his attic is more like his son, friend, or dog. Robotnik, an Elon Musk type, in that he's bald, his tech keeps exploding, and his power comes from stolen emeralds. As Jim Carrey has so much fun on camera, he'll retire from acting forever? I have enough. I've done enough. I am enough. That's not how celebrity works. You need our love to love yourself. Now get in that fat suit, we're doing Sonic 3. And while Jim maintains his lock on cinema's greenest meanies, the voice of Sonic, Ben Schwartz, continues his dominance of the color blue. I think we all know where this is going. Water? Again? Come on! Party with the Sonic you know and love. A mascot from 30 years ago, spouting the pop culture references of 15 years ago. Who is Clifford the Big Red Rage Monster? But before an extended Uptown Funk dance sequence makes you check the year on your calendar, they'll introduce new characters like Tails, a fox who can fly with his ass, it's cuter than it sounds, and Knuckles, the second best mean little red cartoon who wears boxing gloves all the time. Action! Gnarly! He's a character that Eaters Elba promised us would not sound sexy. But we'll be the judge of that, sir. Never underestimate a Sonic fan's ability to get turned on by cartoons. Watch Sonic and Knuckles collide, like that awkward stack of cartridges it took to play as him. And if you don't think they'll figure out their differences and work together by the end, get ready to be blown away by Sonic 2, because this is probably your first movie. And hey, welcome to movies. They're great. Try some popcorn. Blast off into the Sonic verse, which takes place in what appears to be a Hawaiian wedding? This is still Sonic 2? Okay. Blast off into the Sonic verse to meet Rachel and Randall, two lovebirds who thought their Hawaiian wedding would be a passport to paradise. But when Tom crashes the party, it'll be a one way trip to Oopsville, whether he's trying to hang with the boys, <laughs> misplacing the wedding ring, I think I mixed up the rings when I was teasing JoJo, or disrupting the ceremony. So help me, Thomas! You'll be saying I do to the best Tyler Perry movie hidden inside a video game project till they finally put Medea in Smash Bros. Sonic 2, Rivals Down the Aisle. Wait, what? This, this part is still going? You remember Sonic 2, Rivals Down the Aisle. Well, there's still more wedding stuff because this couple's relationship was a sham and everyone there was secretly a space cop or something. Now, this bridezilla is out to get her man one way or another. And with the help of her maid of honor, these two are cranking up the Hawaiian heat in Sonic 2, Rivals Down the Aisle 2, Chaos Alter. All right, are we done here? Can we please go back to the Sonic part now? Enjoy deep cut references, like a rendition of the original drowning music. Recreations of the game logos. Boom. A call out to an obscure old puzzle game. Oh. And after they managed to fit the best Sonic meme into the first one, I'm like 90% sure they snuck the other Sonic meme into this one. I'd be happy to show you the way. Uh, that's a Ugandan Knuckles reference, right? Oh boy, you're playing with fire there, Jim. Don't look that up. So get ready to cheer for a blue coat of paint on one of the all-time classic hero's journeys. A young man with an awesome stepdad who attracts some new followers, discovers he can walk on water, gets hunted down by the government, and sacrifices himself to save humanity. Which is probably just a coincidence, unless he were also Jewish. Gotta go fast! <gasps> just as foretold, our golden god has returned! Starring! I see you, Schwartz, is as blue as mine. 
Gloku. Sonic is not too fast. I would catch him. Oh, so cute. Cyclops. Marsden needs moms. Sham weddings and your funeral. Impeccable beard work. Just so sharp. You must be the Monopoly guy. Pacific Jim. And Chris Pratt, probably. Speed 2. Blues Control. But I am not watching Snow Dogs again. That movie is the worst! Wait, is Sonic a Park and Rex fan, or did he just come up with Gene Ralphio's The Worst bit all on his own? The worst! It's Morbin time. Let me tell you the story of the spice fucking Bill Odinson. Back in my day, we used to eat Play-Doh for sport. Now you know, and knowing is half the tacos. You're a pistol. You're really funny. You're really funny. 